and welcome to another Whip Wednesday. Um, so, unfortunately, this week I don't actually have any finished projects to show you. Um, usually I will show you guys my finished projects. We'll talk a little bit about, and then we'll talk about a little bit about um, the projects that I <clears throat> want to get finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or that I'm working on um, over the course of the next seven days. Um, but I tell you what, the last week has been pretty tiring. Um, you know, I started, I, I've been working at the grocery store. Um, and right now I haven't been working um at Scream Hollow, um, and I did actually have, like, four days off, um, uh, at the grocery store, but they didn't, I don't know, like, so I had, like, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off, so I had three of the last seven days since the last Whip Wednesday video, um, off to crochet and then I've been kind of working on these little reindeer some of y'all have probably seen them um, they're still missing ears antlers and tails so I've got this one I would use two hands but I have this guy on my arm right here and he's trying to chew this little black ring off of my bottle um, <laughs> so I do have four of the reindeer that I'm slowly working on Kiwi, did you just do what I think you did? I thought I felt something. Did you do it? I don't see anything. I think I'm imagining it. Yeah, I'm going to use it. It happens so often, I guess sometimes I just think I think that he's gone on me. Um. Anyways, <clears throat> it's like... 10 o'clock on Tuesday night in my time and I haven't got a lot of time to crochet today um, but anyways so I've been working on these little reindeer none of them have ears none of them have antlers yet um, and they all need tails and that was kind of my main goal is to get these finished um, as soon as possible for um, Scream Hollow um, and of course, I haven't finished them yet. I am working on antlers, um, which is the most tedious part of this particular pattern. Um, you know, you have to make this part and then you make this. Actually, I think it's you make this little nubby here and then you make this part and then you've got to crochet them together and they're such tiny little pieces they are very hard to stuff but I do have these two finished and one of the black ones um, I do have all of the nubbies the first portion of the antlers made for each pair at this point I'm just making the second part and joining them together um, it's just very tedious and you know today I was helping um, you know my parents with cleaning out our shop out in the back pasture getting some things out of storage and I just was not feeling working on antlers because it's tedious and my mind has to my mind has to be like in the game you know what I'm saying and I'm just not down with my mind being in the game today um I'm just not feeling it at all so um instead of working on antlers today uh I picked up a project that I had left off on a while back um specifically because I ran out of the yarn that I needed um this is, and I won't be able to show you guys the entire, the whole thing because I can't back up in this chair, but it is a Lotus Mandala jacket that I started, um, some time ago and I did finish the body on this. Um, and I am using, um, Lion Brand sequins or Lion Brand Mandala sequins, um, for this. 
the color is called ametrine. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Um, and then here's the label if you're not familiar with this particular yarn. It is a weight three and it's got all of these uh, little, where's it at? I don't want to like collapse it, but <laughs> um, let's see if I can find one. If y'all can see, there it is. You can see one of them right there um, all throughout it. Um, this one was just a small, and you guys can see it, I think, on camera when, uh, yeah. So this one was just a small, and, um, I'll link this pattern below as well as the reindeer pattern. Um, I have just the sleeves on this one to do, because I just finished up the body, um, actually a few minutes ago. Um, and this was part of the transitioning my Etsy shop from an inventory to mostly made to order items. Um, you know, I wanted to make, I, I really enjoy making this specific cardigan and I wanted to be able to offer it in lots of different colors, um, and, and in lots of different types of yarn. Um, but of course, to do that, I have to make one up in that particular kind of yarn, and then I can offer the color choices that that, that brand of yarn offers. And then when you order, you pick your size and pick your color. Um, and it's just something that I'm doing to try to help transition the shop into more made to order items. Um, some of you guys may have noticed that recently I did a poll or am doing a poll on uh, my con community tab um, asking uh, people if you had $500 to spend, um, what would you buy? And there's certain options, um, including um, a crochet blanket or afghan, um, an expensive wearable item. Would you get, um, you know, like a giant plushie or would you buy, you know, lots of smaller crocheted items. And basically the idea behind this is it's just a little bit of market research to kind of try to get an idea of what direction I should veer towards in the Etsy shop. Um, Right now, there are lots of smaller pieces. There are some cardigans. There's sweaters. You know, I don't typically do blankets um, because they are so expensive to make. I, I never really thought that um, very many people would be interested in buying a handmade afghan um, or a handmade, you know, blanket. Um, but so far, most people have said that if they had $500 to blow, they would go, they, they would get a crocheted blanket rather than a wearable or, you know, a big plushie, something like that. Um, so if you guys want to help me with that, by all means, hop over there to the community tab and, um, vote on that poll. It would, I would find it very helpful, um, you know, in regards to the Etsy shop and what direction that I want to take it. Um, but I mean, as far as Whip Wednesday goes, cause I just totally went off into left field y'all. Um, as far as Whip Wednesday goes, I guess over the next seven days, I am going to be focusing on getting these reindeer finished and probably this cardigan finished. Um, I do have another one up there. Uh, that is a Lotus Mandala as well that I still have to finish. <laughs> um, and um, some of you may know that Kiwi has been perched up there above my unfinished cardigans that I had in a dress, in a dress bag. I've actually had to move those because he's just kind of taken that whole area over on the balcony door. Um, in fact, I will insert a picture right here to show you guys what I mean. Anyways, I don't know why I felt it necessary to stop the camera just now. Um, and, and do it like a, like a 
splice or something. I don't, I don't know why. Anyways, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so that's, that, that's the goal for this upcoming week, um, is to focus on reindeer and, um, this cardigan, maybe, um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to guarantee that the cardigan is going to get finished, but I am feeling like I just need something kind of mindless that I don't have to focus too much on. Um, especially on nights that I'm working at the grocery store. I just kind of want to come home and chill and not have to stare at the computer or follow a pattern. Um, I think that everybody feels that way a little bit. Um, but, uh, anyways, so I also was thinking that after I get finished with the reindeer, it may not be this week, but maybe next week, um, I might do some hippopotamuses. Hippopotami? Somebody let me know in the comments. Is it hippopotamuses, sisses, or is it hippopotami? Because for some reason, hippopotamuses always remind me of Christmas because of that song. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do something. I don't know. Like, I don't know the song. Uh, Casey knows the song and I don't know what the song is called, but they play it every year on the radio. Um, for as long as I can remember, I've heard that song around Christmas. And now as an adult, hippopotamuses remind me <laughs> of Christmas. And so I was thinking about doing some hippopotamuses with maybe some scarves, or maybe I can figure out a way to do some Santa hats on them. I'm not really sure. Um, definitely if you guys have suggestions or, uh, you know, any ideas, uh, on how to make just a regular old hippopotamus pattern Christmassy, let me know, um, because I'm thinking Santa hats or scarves. I do have some jingle bells, um, but of course, you know, as far as just the animal goes, I'd have to come up with a wearable for the animal. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, and of course, all of these items are going to end up at, at the at Scream Hollow for Twisted Christmas, which is their Christmas event. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I've got going on right now. Um, it is always very weird because Whip Wednesdays have kind of turned into... You know, we talk about my projects, what I've finished, what I'm working on, but a lot of times we end up also talking about what I'm doing in general. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, mostly I've just been working and sleeping. I've been sleeping a lot. My my sleep schedule is very strange um, because I do work in retail, uh, you know, one night I'm working closing the next time I work, it's an opening. It it's yeah. So today for me, like I said, it's Tuesday. I have Wednesday off, but on Thursday I have to be up bright and early to work a morning shift. Whereas my last shift was a closing shift. Um, which, so thankfully I had those two days off to kind of adjust my sleeping schedule. Um, and hopefully I have it down by Thursday because if I don't, then I'm just going to have like huge black, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to have bags under my eyes and I'm just going to be dragging, um, <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing in my life. Um, before I go, I am going to remind you guys that I do have a secret Santa going on. Um, I am still waiting for people to sign up. I only have had one person so far that wanted to do this, um, and she has not accepted the invite. Um, I will put um, a, a, a card, or not a card, um, you know, the little thumbnails that like go over here or over here. 
I'm sure the timing is not going to be right, but you know what I mean. Um, so that those of you that want to check out that video can go and check it out to find out the info on the Secret Santa. Um, and then of course, um, I'm going to be doing my monthly giveaway this month. Um, I still haven't decided what the monthly giveaway prize is going to be. Um, it could just end up being, uh, you know, another gift card for this month. Um, but I only have two packages left to ship out. As soon as those packages are out, I will be going back to looking for things for actual physical things to give away during um, my monthly giveaway. Now, if you want to get involved in the monthly giveaway, um, that giveaway is for individuals who have donated to the support of the channel to support the channel um, using any of the ways that are listed in the description box um, or that have um, become a member of the channel or that have done super chats or super thanks or super stickers and if you do any of those things you'll get put into the uh, giveaway and you'll have a chance to win whatever I happen to be giving away that month um, <clears throat> and that's just for those of you that are new to the channel um, you know I, I uh, so there's many of you that already know how all of that works. Anyways, guys, um, I am going to let you go for now. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go find something to watch. And I think I'm going to start on one of these sleeves because I am still not really feeling reindeer antlers tonight. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.